Okay. Hi everyone, sorry for being late from 15 minutes. Uh, this is my first time to do online teaching. So, some of you may know my name. My name is 9101112. So, some may not. So, today we are going to learn something about from the Bible. That will be very important for the children. So I'm cho I'm choosing scriptural verses from the book of Philippians, chapter two, verses four through five. Four to five. So I will I'll be reading for you first. Let each of you look not to your own interest, but to the interest of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. So, shall we do a little bit of prayer, okay? Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this, this evening, especially for the time to teach, the time to listen to your word. Give us your knowledge and wisdom and to be able to understand your work or to your word. Send the Holy Spirit be with us throughout this service. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So here, this is my first time and it is not my official language, so if, if I make a mistake, please understand, okay? So it is my first time. So here the Bible say, let each of you not look to your own interests. But to the interest of others, let the same might be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Some versions say, let the same attitude that was in Christ Jesus. Right? Or oh, some versions are different. But here, today I'm going to pick up a topic. This is attitude. So some of you may know what attitude is. But here, psychologically, some people say attitude is referring to a set of emotion, right? beliefs and behavior towards something or someone. So let's see what other people say about attitudes from a short movie. So Joshua will be helping me we're showing a short movie. So credit to short movie maker. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And have you ever noticed how there are some words that are like good words, but they kind of can be turned into almost bad words? Like the word fine. Like if somebody says fine, usually hey guys, you know, it's me again, to mean Douglas. Good. And have you, you ever noticed how there are some fine words that are not fine? Or like and you can tell words, by their attitude, you know, what but they, they kind of can be turned into fine, but they're not actually words. fine. If somebody says fine, usually. Actually, right now, I am currently grounded for saying the word okay, right? And okay means like good, right? Or, you know, okay, like yes. Well, my mom, she, you know, I was, I was watching TV and she asked me to clean my room and, uh, and I just, you know, I didn't really respond and I was watching the TV and, and uh, she, you know, a few minutes later, she asked me again, she said, Douglas, you gotta go clean your room. And I still didn't answer. And the third time she was like, Douglas, I said, go clean your room. And I went, Ugh, okay. Boom, grounded. And I was gonna go clean my room and I said, yeah, I'll go clean my room. But, but I definitely was not saying it with a good attitude. I definitely had some sass thrown into that okay. You know what I mean? 
And here's the thing is, is God really cares about what's on the inside. He doesn't just care what you say or what you do. He cares about why you say it. He cares about how you say it. And he cares about why you do it and how you do it. God cares about what's inside. You know, I had every intention. I was going to go clean my room. And I said, yes, I'll go clean my room. You know, but I didn't say it like that. I, I said, okay. You know, after like huffing and puffing, you know, I, I was doing what I was supposed to be doing, but I was not doing it in the right way. And, and I got in trouble for it. And I should have gotten in trouble for it. I, I honestly, I feel bad that I sassed my mom like that. You know, in the Bible, the, the people that Jesus got most mad at were the people who were doing and saying all the right things. But deep down in their hearts, they were prideful and they were jealous and they were mean and hateful. And God cared more about that than the outward appearance, you know, just them following the rules. God cares about what's on the inside. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would really watch your attitudes. You know, and that's a challenge for me too. I want to do better at that also. Because sometimes we try to, you know, punish people, right, with the way that we behave. You know, yeah, I'll do the thing, but I'm going to be real snarky about it. I'm going to be real sassy about it. I'm going to be real mean about it. That's not what God wants. God wants us to honor him in all that we do. And that really, really includes how we do what we do. You know, I, I don't really like cleaning my room. I don't know anybody that likes cleaning their room, but it's something I got to do. And so I want to try to do it with a good attitude because that's what God wants me to do. Not just even for other people, but even in my own heart. If you've got a good attitude, that can really change your outlook on life. God wants us to be kind to other people with our words and with our actions. God doesn't just care about what you say or what you do. God cares about what's on the inside. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. Some, of, some people may have a different kind of definition concerning about attitude. So, the reason why the Bible says, let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others, is a kind of interesting verses. Because, you know, like, especially, some people say, oh, attitudes, so what kind of attitudes, right? So some people may say, oh, it is just a kind of a way of acting, a way of doing something, a way of making, or something, things like that. And then some people say, oh, a way of thinking, or feeling, or having emotion toward something or someone, someone. So here, we can learn three things about attitude that should have in our life. Number one, so according to scripture, we just read that what should our attitude toward ourselves ourself be? Yeah, I think uh, here, we need to be humble, or we need to be a heart of servanthood. Because uh, what does the humble mean? How humility, what does the humility mean? Sometimes we may be in confusion because sometimes we don't know what humility is. Sometimes we do. But here's the, how I understand about humility. Humility sometimes, the way I, my understanding is like it. If somebody say you don't know nothing, but you, can, you have to show something that you, have, you already learned from your school, or from somewhere, that will be very, very beneficial to other people. That is humility. But it's showing something. Sometimes some people say you don't know nothing, but you have to show something that you can do for other own good. But some people want some people say, oh, you are doing very good at school. Oh, you are doing good grade. But here you have to be humble. How? Here, you can you can be humble in this way. It's humble. Some people say, "Oh, you you are doing great at school. You are getting higher grade. You are you are getting better, good grade." But you have to be humble. How? Huh? Oh, I know nothing yet. I have to study more. That's how humility works. Okay. So here we have to be humble. Number one. Number two, 
How should our attitudes toward other people be? Or how should our attitude toward other uh, other people or other people? Yeah, other people be. So I think um. So during this pandemic, you may have a lot of time. Yeah, we most of us are homestay people. Right during this pandemic, you may have a lot of time. How have you been spending? How have you been spending your summer time so far? You spend. You have been spending most of your time for playing game, watching TV, not paying attention to what your mom, your dad wants you to do. Housework. That's not a good idea. Sometimes, that's why you have to consider other desire, other people's desire, okay? In your consideration. You have to put other desire in your consideration. That means you have to sympathize, you have to sympathize other people. Sometimes you may have a lot of time during the day. But you don't do housework or something like that. When your mom or dad get, getting from work or somewhere, and then when they see the house being messed up, they won't be happy. They want you all to, to clean the house. So that's another kind of, how should our attitude to our other people be mean? You have to be helpful to other people. And then number three, we'll go shortly. Number three, what should our attitude toward God be? That's a very interesting question. So even the verse five, it says, the little sin might be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Who is Christ? Who is Christ Jesus? What did he do? What did he do while he was on earth? Here we go. Okay. While Jesus was on earth, he was doing good things to other people. Such as helping the hopeless, helpless one. And healing the sick. Healing the paralyzed. Paralyzed. All healing, dry, driving the demons out of Demon poses. Some kind of like Jesus has been doing good things to other people. Not bad things to other people. But some may be, oh, Jesus has been doing bad things. Maybe it depends on how you see Jesus. But I think when Jesus was on earth, Jesus was doing good things to other people, right? He had, he always had mercy on other people. When he saw, oh, the poor people, he has mercy on. Oh, for example, he fed the 5,000 people, right? Who came to listen to his preaching. During the time, what he requires, he requires uh, his disciple. No one show up. Uh, even he, his disciple re responded to him that, oh, we, we didn't have any money. We didn't have any to cover all these people food. Jesus said, you, you, must, you must feed them. So, they found five, how many fish and loaves? Two fish and five loaves of bread. From whom? The char. Okay? Not the old people. So, here we see. Or even the char can do great things for other people here. So, I mean... At the time, I only not only the child would bring the food, but also many people. I think so. But only the child did good thing for other people. That's a, here what we can see is don't think that oh I am still young, oh I cannot do this thing, this thing. No, you are not stay young anymore. You can do good things to other people. Okay? Is it? That's why it, on earth uh, we may see it, there are two kinds of attitudes, like a good 
Healthy juice and bad energy juice. Third is how how do you it depends on how do you spend your daytime. So we all get 20 hours a day, right? Seven 24-7. We all got the same. All human beings get the same. Nobody get more than 24 hours per day. We all get the same. But some people do good things to other people. But when some people couldn't have, it looked like a, it seems like a, they couldn't have time to do good things to other people. It depends on how you spend your time. Here, I want I want to encourage you all, you guys. You stay young, but don't think I'm stay young. Do whatever you can at home. Your mom, your dad are going to work while you are at home. What you have to do is to clean the house as much as you can. Don't mess up. When you eat your food, don't forget to wash your play. Don't let others do it for you if you are able to do it, right? That's true, right? That's right, right? If, if, you're, lazy, if you're lazy at doing your stuff, even other people will be the same. It's not good, right? So you are not in a helping way. You are not in a helping world to other people. The reason why God pulled, God created, God made us be born on earth is to glorify His name. How can we glorify His name? By doing good things. Okay? Do you agree with that? How can we do good things? So you get a 24 hours a day, daily. Yeah, during the summertime, you may have a lot of time, including me, because during this pandemic, we all get so much time to be at home rather than going outside. During the time, we have to spend our time to be useful, helpful to other people as well. Not only for ourselves. So here I mean, sometimes uh, we forget to do other stuff. But we all spend our time on playing game, watching TV, watching movie. That's good. But you have to look to other interests. Other mean here, maybe your parents, your brothers, your sister. Who knows, right? Other people, that maybe the guests who are at your home for temporary. So, here, today, I want to encourage you guys. Here the Bible says, Let it of you look not to your own interest. Don't think of yourself only. Please put set some time aside for doing good things to other people. During summer, Right, right now, you all are all about to go back to school again. What have you been doing? Have you prepared for uh, the upcoming schooling? Some kind of that. So, the Bible tells us, don't think of yourself only. Oh! Yeah, yeah, sometimes you can do, but that's not good. It's not. If you only look, if you only look to yourself, your interests only, is not good attitude. A good attitude means you have to be doing good things to other people. That's what the Bible wants us. That's what God wants us to do, to be. We are the children of God. Even uh, do, having good attitudes is taught by all religion. Maybe they may be in some religion they show 
good attitude, bad attitude. At the same time, they give up option. The choice is yours. So, as we are the children of God, what will we be doing? I think, don't spend the whole day for you, for you only. Sometimes maybe separate, set aside maybe 30 minutes, one hour out of 24, okay? One hour out of 24 to do reading the Bible, maybe other knowledge, knowledge about books or something else. You have to do that. Only one hour within 24 hours. You may have a lot of hours. You may still have a lot of other. So, here, what I, what we have to do in order to be, have a good attitude is don't spend the time you get, all the time you get, for you only, for yourself, only. Because God doesn't want us to, as we are the children of God, God wants us to have a good attitude. Again, attitude when you get up, don't forget to pray. To read so one, one or two scripture every morning. Don't forget it. And then pray to God. Pray for your parents. Pray for your brother and sister. Pray for yourself. Don't forget it. When you get when you're gonna eat, pray. These foods are provided by God. Through your mom or your pet, your dad or something else, other people. Pray for those who, who are hopeless and helpless around us, okay? In the world, even during this pandemic, many people are in trouble. In trouble. They have a lot of hardship. So we have to pray for them too. It's a good attitude. So... Here, I just want you to encourage as we are the children of God, don't forget to do good things. Right, Joshua? Okay. You are here with me, so I have been seeing you guys since I was here. Don't forget to spend some time for other people. Okay? If you do so, you will get rewarded. God will bless you in your future. God bless you all. Uh, let's pray for a moment. Thank you, God, for this evening, especially for your, your word that we just heard. Lord, I just want to ask you to give us wisdom to be able to spend our time wisely during this pandemic. Although this time is very tough for everybody, but uh, we thank you because you give us strength, knowledge to be able to stand until now. I hope you will bless us in the future as well. All this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.